Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. How are you everybody? Ali Shanmao here. How about we go and 3D print a full-size boat for my next project and convert it to electric power. Mini orange filament, mini green filament toolkit, not a box with the LCD screen and filament holder mount. Have a laser engraving kit again. Oh, this means this is a bigger laser engraver. By the way, I don't have any uh, info and user manual on Shark Plus, so I cannot say what is the power of that laser. Look at that. This size has. Man, this definitely looks bigger, huh? Oh, look at the bed size. Mmm. Big laser engraving and laser cutting. Looks like the cables are already connected. And that requires brute strength to pull this big baby out. Use your force! Use the force! Can you pull the box away, please? Alright. Ah! Oh. This big baby is here. Ooh, I see. Down here, they have rerouted the belt and put the, you know, the DC motor here, which will move the belt and move the bed. In the toolkit, we have wall outlet cable. We have these tools. Then we have a spare parts. Then we have another nipper, I was waiting for it. We have another scrapper, I was waiting for it. And we have another USB cable, I wasn't waiting for it. We have another glasses, I wasn't waited, waiting for it. And zip ties. This other box, we have filament holders. Hello, hand. LCD holder. Filament holding tube filament holding tube yes two of them because this can take two filament it's a dual extruder printer you know and wrapped it like a mummy we have another LCD screen Ooh, this makes you look cool <laughs> actually I'm sitting at the back of this so total four screws I will Tied on it nicely. Remove this. Oh, and what I see here, pull it out. I just want to make sure what is it? They cannot be, they cannot give you plastic on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. We have to be very, very careful. This time we have a glass. Okay, look at the size. Arish is laying on a box, but it's still the tower is tall. I can see that. Now, for the connections, this definitely will go here. As I said, there's no user manual, so I have to do everything. There's a sensor, and this sensor has to work. So this connector is right here. Don't force it, just see if it goes in nicely, then push it in. Uh, we'll power the printer right from here. There's a selector here, which should be 220 to 110 volt. Oh, sorry, 230 and 115 volt. At the moment, let me see, it's set to 230 volt. I have to make sure. And laser engraver connectors here on the front. USB port and LCD, LCD holder. So we have dual extruders and dual filament detectors. Check this out. Okay, let me just show you what's under the printer and you can see all the PCB and brains and bronze are down there and lots of lots of uh, you know air cooling vents we have fans here probably like a power supply and fans and again lots of lots of vents we have one DC motor as I've shown you here to move the bed forward and backward and 
I love it. Check this out. This very easy to, you know, level your bed. And look at that. That is the, I believe, for bed heating. Yeah, it should be just like this. Give me the Tula Tula. Okay. And there you go. That's your LCD. Right there. LCD installed. Okay, for all of those who wanted to have a comparison, size comparison, at the left we have Shark SC10 V2 and at right side we have Shark SC10 Plus. Look at that bed size, man, it makes my Shark V2 looks tiny, look at that, that bed is tiny. And basically the Shark SC10 V2 just finished a 12 hour print this morning look at that size of the bed i'm happy now i can 3d print bigger parts and i would 3d print less parts to build my new 3d printed big full-size boat one kg one kg white one kg blue another kg blue another kg white so we got our filament that's 10 kilograms of filament which we are going to use and 3d print ourselves a full-size mini electric boat for one or two persons All right filament is here printers are here let's fire this one up set it up and start 3d printing Okay, so my DIY woodworking and the coffee table that I made for my living room, it seems like I designed it for Lockmax Shark Series 3D printers. <laughs> and again, this is a very, very quiet printer. I love it, man. Everything moves very quietly and printing really nice and quiet. One thing you might want to notice that for the previous Shark V2, I had these cords coming out, going all the way down and then going all the way up here. But in this one, they've already done everything for you. You know, these cords going in, coming over here, all the cables, everything is really very nicely routed. The build quality, I am very, very satisfied with the build quality, with the component quality of uh, Lockmax 3D printers. I have been using the SC10 V2. It's a workhorse. I've left it on almost a whole week, like seven days non-stop. It kept on 3D printing without any issues and 3D prints are really nice and fine. Now this one I have 3D printed with a strong method, my own strong method, and I can tell you this thing is gonna hold the motors, these motors sitting right here. And they are very very powerful underwater thrusters and it's gonna hold on those motors and inshallah it will not break very nice fine prints I'm very very happy with the lot max 3d printers print qualities and now plus shark plus is working and I'm hoping and I'm confident it will deliver the same fine beautiful print qualities I've been using the 3D printed parts on my mini DIY electric boat and you can see these 3D printed parts. These are 3D printed with Shark V2 and they're absolutely very, very strong. No issues at all, nothing broke so far. This is basically normal PLA, nothing is special. Normal PLA, just more walls added and more infill, gyroid infill used using the Lotmax Cura software and 3D printed on Shark V2. And they are absolutely very, very strong parts, holding very well, no problems at all. 
And I love the design for this, you know, the heated uh, no nozzle right here. You can see one fan here, one fan here, one is right here. I believe this is again the same four fan design. It's again the same design that was on Shark V2. Multiple fans provide really nice cooling of filament, rapid cooling and rapid heating, and the model prints really nice. Now having to have dual extruders, you can use two filaments and 3D print bicolor models. So, the first test model just finished 3D printing on Shark SC10 Plus and even on a normal, normal print, this is, man, this is a nice and fine print. Nice, very nice and fine print, man. Little baby crocodile. Well, here you go, a toy for you. Have fun. And it's time to start 3D printing something bigger. What? Ooh, it's big. <laughs> That's what she said. Check this out. 20 hours, 13 minutes. I have got my one piece rudder. 3D printed for my mini electric boat. It is on 10, only 10 uh, infill is 10% only and it's really nice and strong. I was thinking I will fiberglass it or put epoxy on it for a stronger build but this is already very very strong. Now you have been watching and following my videos on my very first project that went successful alhamdulillah the diy mini electric boat the build video series that you have watched already and the boat is doing absolutely good now the success of that project encourages me to pick on something new something more exciting something that i have not done before so how about we go and 3d print a full-size boat for my next project and convert it to electric power. So that is my next project and let this video mark the beginning of this new, interesting, exciting project. Let's design and 3D print a whole full-size boat for one or two persons. Now, for which my Lockmax Shark SC10 V2 3D printer could 3D print a whole lot of parts. Obviously you can't just, obviously I don't have that big printer, a whole room size printer that will once 3D print the whole boat. So I have to go design a boat of full size, slice it into many, many small parts that will fit the bed size that I have and 3D print them. Now Shark V2 right here actually could do that, but I needed something slightly bigger slightly bigger so I can print slightly bigger parts and I have to print less quantity of those parts. Guess what? Lotmex has just released the Shark SC10 Plus. Right there, it's 3D printing its very first test model. This is the Plus version, which is 320x320x420 x millimeter. So that's 32 centimeter x 32 centimeter x 42 centimeter of print area right there. This means I can now print those big parts on that for my 3D printed full size of board. And I will have to print less quantity of parts because I can do bigger prints. So now the smaller prints 25 x 25 x 26 centimeter print area I can do it on Shark V2 and bigger ones I can do on Shark SC10 
plus. So I'm off to design the 3D printed boat. I'm working on many different models. I have many different ideas. And what I'm going to do is 3D print a 400 millimeter, you know, straight. Let it just go straight up. 3D print a 400 millimeter or let's say 40 centimeter long model of my design so I can test its floating capabilities, its moving into the water capabilities and all its features before I go scale it up and start 3D printing the full scale model parts with Shark Plus. So thank you very much once again to all of you for watching and following my DIY build project of mini electric boat. And I'm hoping you are going to love this new project. I'm off to design the boat hulls. And yes, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and do follow this new build video series. I'm 3D printing a full size one person or two person mini electric boat. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.